so you know of the stuff we've we've tackled which has been the most difficult and is still the fuzziest bum diddy shuffles that's kind of the main thing we we, we did um i want to work a little more on finger picking this week maybe a little something about the how to use the c scale but haven't really delved into too much for that. And uh, I'm going to send out a note either tonight or tomorrow or soon. But uh, there's a song I found that I use for my classes that it's it's kind of like a vocabulary test because it, it changes keys every time. Don, it's in C, D, F, G, A. Because, you know, I, I, I did the Circle of Fists class with the beginners last night. And, you know, you have to have your alphabet down, know the chords before you can start applying a lot of this stuff. And, and, and it, you know, it's, it's just to kind of see where you are. And, you know, C's are a favorite, but, you know, I'd say 98% of the songs we do are in C, D, F, G, or A. You know, we're not playing in D flat or A flat or any of those jazz keys. But uh, so, you know, it's, uh, I'm going to send Donna out and we'll uh, we'll go over it next week and start doing it. Kind of give you an idea of where you're at as far as, because this is all, all this stuff we're doing now is on the presumption that we're comfortable changing chords. And, you know, once in a while we'll see a F sharp diminished seventh and all that, what, how you do that, that's fine. But, you know, to know those 15, 18 chords that are the most common, be able to you know, feel comfortable with having to do this every time, every time that's, that's time. the foundation. Having said that, I got a couple more uh, donations, which I appreciate. And thank you to those of you who've done that. And uh, somebody's got a parrot flying around, apparently. <laughs> Okay, so um, let's go with, we'll do, we'll do a little finger picking. How about uh, four strong winds? I'm gonna pull that up. It's the mellow, folky, soft pop stuff that, you know, generally, although not exclusively, lends itself to finger pick treatment. All the chords there. Last night in the beginner class, I forgot what song it was, but it had a saxophone solo. So I, I, I amazed the, the students by pulling out my saxophone. And mm -hmm. I've done that. I'm, I'm pretty rusty. You know, you lose it if you don't use it. Uh, that reminded me. Go get more kazoos when we start meeting together face to face again. So four strong winds in the key of G. It's just got uh, A minor, which is from the C family. And uh, so the, the pattern that we talked about last week, pull this up a little bit. Is, okay, so I'm just gonna play over a C chord. I'm not mirroring, maybe I should. Third string, third, third string, second string, fourth string, first string. And the thumb's picking the third string, going down. Index the second string, coming back up. Come down on the fourth, middle finger up on the third. So, thumb down on the third string, middle finger up, or ring finger up on the second string, thumb down on the fourth string, middle finger up on the fourth string. Three, two, four, one. And is that the only pattern there is? No, but it's somewhere to start. 
just to get used to it. And then when that gets more comfortable, you can start thinking about jazzing it up and doing two, one, four, three, or, you know, however you want to do it. But it's nice to have four strings for some songs in 4-4 four, four time, like most of the songs. Because you can just do quarter notes, or if you're going fast, you can do eight notes. And it's, it's just a, a nice a nice way to tie that together. So, four strong winds, key of G. We'll go ahead and do the intro chords. Uh, we'll take this two minute and 10 second song and make it a four minute and 20 second song. How's that? Are you recording this for a future? I am. Yeah, I think that, yeah, if no one objects, I, I think I'd like to do that. It helps. To, Thank you. Yeah, like uh, Luann Travis mentioned, she's got some conferences this week. We couldn't attend and asked if I would. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> Four strong wins, B of G. Um, see everybody's off. Bob, I'm going to go ahead and mute you there. We're awesome. One, two, play G. Again, A minor. Three, two, four, one, D. G. A minor. D. Mm, four strong winds, G. That boy minor lonely seven three two four one G all those things that A minor don't three two or what may now our good times are As you go out to Alberta, feathers good there in the fall. Got some friends that I can go to work in D for another measure of D. Still, I wish you'd change your mind. If I asked you one more time, but we've been through that a hundred times or more. Chorus, or strong winds that blow lonely seven seas that run high. All those things that don't change, come what may. Now our good times are all gone, and I'm bound for moving on. I'll look for you if I ever pass this way. play D7, you're going to avoid having the same note twice on 4 and 1. So if you do D7, you 
you get that seventh in the chord. So we'll do that on the chorus if you think of it, and if not, I love you anyway. Four strong winds that blow lonely, the seventh, seven seas that run high, all those things that don't change, come what may. Now our good times are all gone, and I'm bound for moving on. I'll look for you if I ever pass this way. Outro A minor. Da 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 C da 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 one strum D. E. Okay. Oh, it's four minutes and 25 seconds, but we are close. All right. Okay. Feedback. Yeah, go ahead, Bill. I hate to be first, but I just got to, if I don't, I'll forget. Um, <laughs> <laughs> at the chord changes What's there. This is called a pen. <laughs> um, when the chord, that's really when you when you pick the first string with your thumb, right? At the chord change, that's where you, that's where it ought yeah, to be. In, that's the it ought to be in sync. One, two. Okay, thank. That's it. Three, two. I'm say today. Three, two, four, one. Okay. And you got something? Oh, it's a good song. Good song to do. Okay. Thank you. Uh, any other questions? Needs practice. I can't argue with that. Well, I can. I actually, I tell people don't don't ever practice, but play a lot, because practice is like, yeah, I don't. Know, I want to play, but and it's and is it the same thing? Yeah, it is, but it's more of a mindset. So, or uh, smile a lot when you practice, and that's the same thing. Question, Natalie. I just wanted to say, I thought I was doing so terrible and I was so frustrated. And yesterday I picked one of the easier songs and tried to strum and I thought, I'm actually kind of starting to get this. Hey, wow, you know, so. That's great. Yeah, yeah. okay, pat yourself on, everybody pat yourself on the back. You're doing <laughs> a fine job there. Yeah, it's, 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 it's how it goes. You just kind of go along and, oh, I learned something. And uh, it's, it's not, it's not this this way. So yeah, thanks for sharing that. Okay.